The Uncle Jack Fan Club. I suppose they can't remember what he did during the war. I think they remember you. I suppose I'm not going in the front way. I bet we can still sneak in back. You can't go in. It's a private club. Toffs and wankers only. Well, then who are you? I'm the fucking cook, ain't I? Don't look at me like that. A girl's got to eat. Look, why don't you just fuck off? You ain't got any honest business in here. From the looks of you, you ain't got any honest business anywhere. <sighs> Bunch of daft twats. I think you can go in now. Take the job, she says. You'll never have to suck another cock, she says. As modern, educated men, we must be prepared to... Ex Come out and take your medicine. You won't get away with this. <laughs> Patience, Ollie. Look who I found. We just want to make you feel better. But it's all up there. They don't need a cook. They need a maid. Where's the bloody parade balloon? You could hide the Tsar and all his relations up here and no one's the wiser. Time to get the float out of here. Ollie! I said float. What did you think I said? We didn't come here for the float. We came here to get into the Motelline tunnels. I suppose I have to... How do we gang out of here? How on earth did he get to be Uncle Jack? Everybody likes him, except you. Have they forgotten what he did? People are forgetting a lot of things now. Oh, I suppose they don't even know what he did to you. But how did they forget who it was on the German radio every night during the occupation? They locked him up after the victory. People don't talk about the past anymore. When did they let him out? You've forgotten things too, you know.
We all get what's coming to us in the end. When you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. You want me to go up the chimney? Like Santa Claus after he's eaten up all the biscuits? Didn't you read the plans? There's a secret passage and a hatch. There was a hatch here. I hope it really does go to the tunnel to Apple Home. We haven't been in the parade in a while, have we, Margaret? I hope the executive committee listens. I hope they're willing to tell people the truth. Don't forget to get some hydrogen for your float. 
in case it doesn't go well in the broadcast tower. I hope you're wrong, Margaret. I could do this in the dark. I think I have. No one seems to live here anymore. Might be a good place to camp out. good at this. What happened here? You better stay away from him. He's about to go. clothes. Plague wastrels. Here. doing in my playhouse? Margaret. I was, uh, uh, it was raining. Your legs are all wet. They shot you. 
You ran and they shot you. You're still drunk. Are you going to haunt me? Do you want me to go away? No, no, please don't. I think you're sitting on Helga. Sorry, Helga. I almost finished her. She's ever so upset about her apron. She likes everything to be just so. Could you finish her for me? I hope I don't throw up. <sighs> you might want to see a doctor about that. Set! Stop <gasps> bringing me down! That's almost better than whiskey. Next time, stop after oh. the first fight. <laughs> <laughs> you know they know did it, was it. You. I know they did. I see you. You're coming for There's the murderer, right there. Another bloody document control. How much we learned from the Germans. Are you feeling all right? Allow me to right. cheer you up! That cuts it. The gate's open, Ollie. <laughs> can't you just not look at the telly? No, I can't just not look at the telly. They put one in every bloody corner. I'll tell you what I can do. I can blow up the bloody broadcast antenna at City Hall. That is the worst idea I've ever heard from you. What do you know? You're dead. Huh? I haven't got an answer for that, have you? Margaret. Margaret. Ah. Looks like a plague Damn wish you did a number on this. Right. I'm done for me! They did it. I know they did. Right, I've had it with you. Right, that right. cuts right. it. Right, cuts it. I'm done.
Careful, Ollie. You know what joy does to you. Ah, the Department of Senseless Idiotic Research. If anywhere's got hydrogen, it's these bampots. If not, I'm off to the executive committee to fill a bag with hot fucking air. Where do they keep their hydrogen, do you think? I want that! With you, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it.
there's my hydrogen. Now, I just need to walk out the door and... Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! How do I get out now? Just need to make sure it's facing the power and the white. That's a terrible idea. Still got all my bits. They just hurt extraordinarily much. You Who right. needs trains and planes? We ought to have sent the mail by cannon. All right. All right. I I've opened the door. Now, please, just go. Thank you kindly. I'm going to have the worst headache for the rest of the week. Who are you? Did you? The broadcast tower can't be that far from here. I wonder what the executive committee is up to right now.
the end of our time. Tune in again next time and we'll hear the good news about leprosy. Elevators must be up these stairs. Fabulous day in Wellington Wells. The weather is a bit wet, but that's the lovely thing about this weather. The sun always comes down at the end. So come on out and you'll miss it. Wakey, wakey, everyone. Ooh, I don't think I want to try to get past her you know mistress while she's on the job. I, I better shut her down first. Where have they hidden her controls? You know those signs they have in the village? Sorry, ma'am. I need to get upstairs. You'll have to ask someone who has time on her hands. And instead of joy booths, I'd put the joy pills in Easter eggs and hide them here and there. The elevator shuttered. Could you open it? I'm so sorry. I'm in a bit of a jam. Would you mind asking one of my colleagues? Please step away immediately. That's almost better than whiskey.
Glad I came by. Still, you bastard. It's out of power. Where do I turn on the bloody power to the elevator? Leaving ghosts. How did I get here? Did you go and see Sally Boyle? I can't have. She's, she's in the village. Or she came to you. It doesn't matter. She comes by. What, why does she come by? Do we trade? What did you buy from her? Oh, my memory's more than usually fuzzy. Did you take something she gave you? I was... I was sad, wasn't I? I and, and ashamed. I can still feel it. I just don't know why. You bought something from her. Didn't you? Why it was a sad? What have I got to be ashamed of? Margaret, don't look at me like that. Can't help it if I don't remember.
There we go, and up I go. And here. Food production. Good Christ, it's all going down the crapper. You don't have to talk like that.
I wish you wouldn't take all those drugs, Ollie. You don't think clearly enough as it is. Who's in charge here? You're in luck. It's me today. We rotate the dread responsibility. Do I know you? So, there's only one of you who doesn't take joy on a day? <laughs> I might have had a little. <laughs> the tanks in the military camp. Did you know they made a papier mache? Oh, that's terrible. Would you like a joy? Have you been getting out into the village lately? People are getting a bit slim. And these charts, are we running out of food? Oh, no, don't look at the charts. They're horrible. Here, let me get you another joy. We've got our own booth. They're the executive committee. So you people are in charge of the whole shebang? That's us. Ever since the victory. What's wrong with the tanks? You know what? I've forgotten. Oh, good. Well, come back if you remember, but with any luck you won't. <laughs> Be seeing you. We have to tell people. They need to make a new executive committee. <laughs> Absolutely. If they won't heed the loony from the garden district, they're sure to hearken to the dead girl in his head. They'd listen to Uncle Jack. You know what that man did. Everyone listens to him. All day long. I can't stand his smirking face. Ollie. You're right. You're always right, but it's not going to be pretty. If we go upstairs, we're going to make him tell the truth about bloody everything. Hello! Yoo-hoo! Hello! Here's Ollie! Hello! Time to pay the piper, Jack. Ah, that's a relief. Where is he? Good Christ! He's gone off! He can't have gone off! I've got things to tell you, Jack!
No! I can't leave here until everyone knows the truth. Ah. I suppose this is where I could play a tape if I had one. Let's see what Jack has to say for himself. Hmm. I'm sure I had it right here. Uh, you know, there are times you can actually take a little too much joy and, um, well, then you can't remember where anything is, can you? Ah, yes. Hmm. Here it is. Um... Mrs. Florence Gilbert of Brougham Hayes is holding an exhibition of her hand-knit dolls. Oh, she likes to make dolls from all over the world, all knitted in wool. It's his last you show. Like How'd you ken that? Spanish the camera's doll. smashed. They couldn't have shot another. Do you know who'd have liked that? Margaret. Yeah. Why is he talking about you? Who's Margaret? Because hmm? I love dolls. <laughs> what am I talking about? Who cares about the past? Well, listen. Do drop by to see these fabulous dolls at Mrs. Florence Gilbert's. Poor thing. Poor thing? She loved dolls, you know. She had dozens of them. They're from all over. I can assure you that there's absolutely no truth to the silly rumor that the food is running out. How does he know about your dolls? However, it is true that there's a brand new flavor of joy. You think a twelve year daughter would be over dolls? His daughter? Yes, Ollie. But she'd make these darling little costumes. I knew it was wrong. I mean. God, she was even excited about going to Germany. It was me. I couldn't imagine living without her, so. So I hid her. Someone tipped them off. And she ran. No, that's not right. It was Jack what turned you in and I what tried to save you. No, Ollie. You turned me in. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. But you were my daughter. Jack Worthing. Margaret I mean it. Worthing. You're Ollie Starkey. No, I couldn't have. I could never have betrayed you. You're my... Neighbour. I was your neighbour. How could I? How could I do a thing like that to a little girl? Dear God. Dear God, I'm sorry, Margaret. I never meant to hurt you. It's a bit late for an apology. What, what can I do? Tell me. Do you hear me? We've come to the end of our time. The food's run out. We're all going to starve to death. You have to stop taking your joy. Take it from Jack Worthing. That's me. People have to know. That Jack's your father? Stop. That Jack's gone. That the food's run out. You all have to stop. That they have to stop. stop taking the joy. Stop it. You have to broadcast the tape. Right. Right. I could do that. But you won't, will you? God. God, I never meant to hurt you, Margaret. I'm sorry. away I've cut the power the bastards there's an emergency one of those wheelie power thingy-mabobs you're on air the 
bobby popper. More of them. Stop it, right, boy. For God, for Harry and St. George. Like me, did you? Oh, we're running out of power. <laughs> Someone's coming through the door. Mr. Nice Guy. We're running out of power! 